G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Check this out, I've got a couple minutes here. I'm waiting to pick the kids up from school. And I've rigged up a little gold crabby, unweighted, six pound litre. There's carp in this little scum pond. As soon as I rocked up, I saw a free swimmer out there. The other week I had a little scout. Oh, there's one swimming. They're right there. I'm gonna try and get a carp on spin gear. I did a little flick in here with a fly rod once. There's fish out there. Um, yeah, got them on fly, little nymph, but I figured little gold crabby on the spin gear. I should be able to get one to eat. There was a couple mooch and like in tight on this bank last time. If I can catch them mooching and mudding, good chance I can just drop that straight down where they're feeding and they'll eat it. But this is like, I got 20 minutes quick little session see if I can knock a few carp on the head oh yeah there's some down there oh which one do I go for the one on the edge here is bigger where'd he go the one down there was bigger those ones up there are just feeding man they're just sucking food in I didn't even see that. They are, whatever they're feeding on, they are sucking it down. Oh, he's coming. He sees it, he sees it, he sees it. Does the mate eat it? All right, I'm gonna cut the claws off, make it smaller. Man, they are feeding on something. What are they feeding on? I'd rather have a big one mudding on the edge. Whatever they're feeding on is tiny. I and mean, the way they were feeding, I could have swore I'd have got an eat out of them. Quick smart. That's disappointing. Right, let's go see if we can find one mudding somewhere. This is the kind of spot you stand here long enough one comes past. Oh, there's one out on that weedy patch. There's two right in front of me. Oh, one's big. Yeah, got him. Oh no! No! Oh, no way. That was my shot. How did I not put a hook in it? That was a big one too, man. He ate that. I struck at him. Damn it. That was perfect. I dropped down to change the battery in the GoPro. I was on my knees. They come right in in front of me. I didn't have to cast, I just dropped it down in front of his face, six inches off his nose, swam straight over, saw the lips go. Oh, I had my chance. All right, I'm back. I had an unsuccessful session the other day. I'm just fishing Scrubby Creek, um, chasing carp. I got the bar, the fly rod and soft plastic little spin set up depending on where I can make casts and not. A little dirty, but there's a bit of visibility in the shallows. Just looking for carp, see if we can see them mooching, put something out in front of them, see how we go. Got a couple of hours. Keep looking at the water. Uh, ah, yeah, a couple of hours, um, plenty of creek to, to walk and fish and leapfrog, drive around to a few of the little parks and places like that. And yeah, let's see how we go. See if we can't convert one today.
We got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh, he's going to swim into logs and stuff. There's that much crap out there. Can he slide over that log? Oh, don't do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, he come off. He come off, he's right here. No, he's going back. No. Oh. Nearly had him out. Damn, lost him. That was the weirdest thing. It's like he swum into my hook and like shoulder charged it or something, put it across his back. He didn't look healthy. Something was up with that thing. Hopefully he's dying. Cold snap. Usually we lose a few tilapia, which is a good thing. Oh, back to carp. And we made a move. Another little bit of skinny water. That sun's gone. It's going to make it hard. But we'll keep going. Keep checking out some spots. All right, there's a fish over there mudding. Nose down. Don't go, don't go. Oh, I think he's seen me. Oh, we cooked that one. I thought he was pretty focused down what he was doing, man, but I must have spooked him coming in. Oh, we'll keep looking. Oh, there's fish out there. There's a pack of them. Yes! Got him! Yeah, no, he's hooked yet. Yeah, there was a heap of them coming through that shallow. He does not know he's hooked. This is a big carp, eh? Woke up a bit then. Oh <gasps> no! Oh, he just turned. Oh god, man, I thought I pulled the hook on him. Oh, now he is charging along that flat. And now he's going. Oh, dude. Up in trees and round fragmitis. Dude. And he woke up on the spin gear. It's a ten pound braid. Six pound leader, unweighted jig head hook. I just cut the lead off it. A little two inch crabby with the legs pulled off just so it looks like a nymph for a smaller little crustacean or something. More like a fly presentation, you know, just that more finesse profile. Hoping there's no sticks or anything out there you can swim into. Someone's Goodyear radial there. You can tell it's classic suburban fishing when you got tires in the water. People's rubbish everywhere. I found someone's phone in the grass. Freeway and traffic whipping past. A little bit different to that crystal clear, pristine sort of mountain streams. I was fishing the other day. As much as they're a noxious pest and they're invasive and they do damage and whatnot, they're a bloody good sport fish, eh? They fight hard. They get big, obviously, so you know, they got plenty of power. 
He's gonna get a dirt nap when he comes in though. He's just back finning. Like he can stop me pulling him in just by finning his little peck fins backwards. Oh, he's wrapped up in it. Oh, he's got a mate with him now. That guy just spooked. What do you do? I can't muscle this thing. Come on, come back in here now. Oh, oh, dude, dude, that is a big carp, man. Have a look at that for a carp. That thing is massive, man. It's got a couple black spots on him. It's pretty cool. That is an absolute chunk of a carp. Just ate that little chewed up, bitten down, gulp crabby. Oh, man, that thing is massive. Like, legit proper huge man out of a little suburban creek wow look at the tail on that thing no wonder i had no say in where it wanted to go uh, and the dispatch of this fish humanely let's see if i can't get another one holy shit that was a big carp man that thing was massive just suburban creek those things are everywhere. One just rolled up straight out of here. They're fully everywhere. Oh, what is... He's jumping. There is a carp full on... Head out of the water, shoulders. Another big fish. That was insane. I'll do that again. Oh, there's one. Did I spook it or is it... Down, mudding. Oh, he had it! I hadn't set my drag. I hadn't tightened my drag from the fight. Oh, always check your drag. Damn it. He ate that and I didn't get a hook set on him. Damn it. Rookie error, right there, rookie error. There's another fish out there mudding. He's mudding hardcore, that guy. No, don't brush his tail, I brushed his tail with it. Cooked that cast, man. Got him on the tail. He's come back in though. Come back in, but he didn't like the look of it that time. If I didn't have one under my belt, I'd be dirty. There's another fish mudding in front of me here. Swimming away from me. Damn it, he was right there. I don't feel like I spooked it, but I'm in full sun here, so I'll probably stand out. When their nose down, like, your tail you can see, but you can see the ripples that they push up. And obviously there's a big mud patch. And when they're doing that, they're usually pretty focused on what they're doing. If you can get that bait in front of them, more inclined to eat it. Oh, right, let's go. Next spot. All right, I've made another move. Pretty much back where we started at the start of this video. It's been a couple of days since I originally fished this little puddle but it's a lot cleaner than the system I was in earlier. It's all still part of the same. It's all joined up. There's ripples down there. Uh, yeah. See if I can't convert one out of this pool. The first time I come over here the other week, there was fish mudding like right in front of me. Of course, I didn't have a rod. I was just scouting. They're never doing that when you buddy got a rod in your hand, are they? Bubbles coming up over there. 
These ones are the tricky ones. They're just free swimming and lips are going. Gonna come back or am I gonna miss my chance? Uh, do you put one up there? Do we watch him? I missed my chance. He's going in too close to that timber. I'm not sold on what those ones are doing. Like they're open water and their mouths are just going, going, going. They're not mudding. It's not like they're focused on something, but they're just. I'm assuming they're feeding. Though. They're just filtering the water. Normally, when there's good light up here, I can see them up there. But uh, we'll go have a look. Can't see him going up. Probably just stopped in this big cluster. Bubbles over there. There's ripples up there. When I say bubbles, I, when they're mudding, they um, they knock up oxygen trapped down in the mud and the silt, you know, from rotting vegetation. You get that gas build up, so they, they knock bubbles up. But they're still deep, you can't. Oh, that is a fish out there. I can barely see him. I really prefer to see him. Cast and blind at him. Now, check out that bottom end of the pool. Lucky I found that new spot and got that big one because if I had relied on this one and didn't go looking. Oh no. There's a fish over there. Alright, so what I was saying before that fish rudely interrupted me was that lucky I found that other spot. This spot sucks. Um, yeah, carp fishing's not for everyone. There's something about that spot and stalk, sneak up, present a bait, sight fishing aspect of it. Like, even though they're dirty old carp, you're still doing your bit for the environment if you can get rid of them. But they go hard. And that whole visual aspect of it, yeah, it's crazy cool. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I can't help but look at the water. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you got the whole way through that, I know it's just carp, but hey, it's fishing. Uh, yeah, thanks for the support. All that cool stuff. Cheers, guys. Catch you next time. All right, it's another day. Another attempt at some carp. This pool has been my nemesis for the last three odd trips in here. I did try and hit a few saltwater lakes this morning, but it's pretty average. But if I can get another carp, time to kill, why not? Let's see what happens. Why can't they just be mudding on this bank like they were the other week? Oh, and there goes a the water dragon. This thing's a dead set, gonna be the death of me, man. Jumping in the water. Every time I come down here. You see the bubbles coming up behind that bit of Lamandra. That's him. You can see tail down there. Oh, he had it. He was going down. I cooked it. Can't see their lips go. He's still out there. I could only just judge by body language. Like he swum over, you saw the head turn, dip down again. You're like, is that an eat? Is, is that the eat? I could have missed it. It could have been in and out of his mouth before I even had a half ass hook set. Makes it hard without that sunlight and clear water to actually see what's going on. That one was actively feeding, so if there's a couple down the bottom doing the same, might have a shot. It's just that dirty water, man. Just, I can see the bubbles coming up again. Like, that's another fish feeding. Man, a big burst of sunshine right now would be heaven sent. Yes! Yes! Oh, I caught the slightest glimpse of movement from that fish going that way. 
I was like, that had to be an eat. He's got no size on that giant I got yesterday. Uh, the last session. I'll probably roll all this into one. You'll see me missing fish, getting that real big girl, missing fish here again, and then getting this one. There's another fish coming in over here. This is what I found. Oh, there's a little tiny, tiny guy hanging out with this one. This is still just that six pound leader. Which I don't know if I want to just lift this fish up with. Thanks, buddy. Look at that little suburban mud sucker. Just ate that little gold crabby with the big claws ripped off. Just making it look like a little nymph for a tiny little smaller crustacean sort of presentation. But yeah, we got an eat out of that one. Saw it mudding. Dirty water, it's hard to tell if they're gonna eat. Just that body language, like it sort of turned, went over, slight little change, and it was like, oh, that's gotta be the eat. Set the hook. So yeah, I'll dispose of this guy humanely. And yeah, see if we can't get one of those, one of those others that just come in. Silly move, I just got off to rinse my hands. There's three sitting there. I think there's two back here. I don't think they spooked. I might get a shot at them. There's two of them there. Damn it, I thought I got a scale. I thought he ate, but it mustn't have been quite right. <laughs> yeah, right, that'll do us, that'll do us. Little mud suckers. That guy gets to live to see another day. All right, I can't remember what I said at the end of the last session I filmed, but that's probably the end of it. If I combine all that footage together, there's a bit of carp action, a little bit of pest fish eradication, or at least some attempts at it. Anyway, cheers for watching. Suburban sport fishing at its finest. <laughs>